Hello and welcome. It is Wednesday, August the 18th, 2021. It's time for the Topher Spin Meteorites and Knowledge Bolide Hangout. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We have the, the thin section along with the slice. And if you uh, notice the uh, shock vein, I, I'm uh, pretty sure these might be from the same rock. I got them from the same person. But oh, he has nice. great thin sections. Beautiful. Yes, I'm really looking forward to examining this one under the microscope here. Oh, yeah. It says NWA13272 paired by the main mass holder. This is a ungrouped achondrite. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, See the nice little shock in there oh yeah this one for sure is going to be cut into slices but i think these smaller ones like this i'm just gonna either half them um or maybe you know take one little slice out of there but i want somebody to be able to go look at this and have a big giant in cut yeah and you know being able to see this texture and stuff on the outside i think is real important because these these look really good on the outside. And you can see that, <laughs> let's say it starts here, mm -hmm. comes around, comes around all the way down this side to here, all the way down here. Sweet. And then actually branches off down here and then connects with itself. So we are looking at a 360 degree shock vein that actually branches off there as well. Wow. And it, it is like really predominant. Whoa, look at that one. Now, this one is not an 869. I yeah. got this out because uh, you were showing off some shock veins. So yeah. this is just an yes. NWA, yeah. but it has some visible shock vein on the surface. Oh, he's, oh yes, those. Yeah, it's like, ir, yeah, Herb Check 002, uh -huh. individual. You are correct. We're continuing down Chris's uh, path of, we, we already did shock veins. So now we're continuing down his path of, uh, of achondrites, ungrouped. This is the most ungrouped of achondrites there is. Mm. <laughs> wow, nice crystals up there. That crystal is chromium diopside. Yeah. And here's, this one is um, four grams, almost on the, almost on the dot. Because it's so unique, everyone is cutting erg check. Yeah, but to actually have a an individual, I think is pretty interesting. Okay, so this is unfortunately something that we have to deal with now. Um, this we we've pointed out people selling fake meteorites, but what you actually have here is a real meteorite that's been molested. Horrible. This is an Alte meteorite, but what I think they're probably doing is, you know, they're cutting the crap out of Serichel, the Kenyan palisite. Yeah. I know they're losing olivines. So what are they going to do with olivines? Let's drill, drill it and throw it in a palace uh, in an iron and make our own palisite. So right there, you can start seeing the highly crystallized metal that usually runs these entire paths. So that has all been removed. Here's another example of it. You can see the, the crystallized metal right there and right mm -hmm. here, and they're removing it to put in the fake olivines. So he, this was a uh, 1.5 kilogram block that I oh. bought and had uh, it stabilized and cut. Nice thick slice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, olivines all the way to the end. All different yep. colors. You got amber, brown, and yellow. They look pretty solid in there, too. Yeah. This is... Uh, notice the olivines coming right to the edge of the, of the palisite. Yeah. And over the edge as well. And now, Zarev is, is a witnessed fall from... Um, Russia and it's known for two things um, being jet black inside 
-hmm. and having vesicles and you can see the vesicles being mm -hmm. caught in, in the in the light <clears throat> and it has armored chondrules in there too but look at how porous that is oh yeah oh yeah you the closer you look the more porous it really is mm -hmm. look at that mm. awesome yeah, oh. This is not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and this this one is uh, like a part slice. Uh, yeah. A 13.54 grams. Let's see. It's a very beautiful meteorite for being one of the most budget-friendly ones that's classified. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, can't trust people to be honest on eBay. Uh, even when it looks like they are doing the best and listing stuff with scientific information you'll see here this guy uh, i i've i've shown you this guy before he's he's a scammer he's a dirty dog he's dj meteorites um the last time i outed him within 15 hours of my video going live everything was removed off of ebay uh he's then he changed his name put a asterisk in there and he's back so here's an example of him selling this and he basically calls it he says, this is Tisserlatine 001. Well, I'm sorry, it's not. It be that actually belongs to my friend Embark Ardral. And it's ridiculous that if you look down here, so if you were going on eBay and you were trying to do your due diligence to make sure you're buying a real lunar meteorite, he has all of this chemical composition down here. <laughs> it is cut and paste directly from the Met Bowl. So... Embark paid for the testing and donated stuff to science. And this Mo comes along, sticks it, cuts and pastes, steals it, puts it on his driveway rock and sells it. Here's another example. Don't trust any information on eBay that you can't validate. He's the same, the same scammer is selling an LL7 chondrite and he has this full geochemistry. You cannot get this geochemistry information by licking it you have to send it to a lab you have to pay lab work and it doesn't take a genius because i'm not a genius it took me 13 seconds to figure out exactly which met bull classification he stole his information from so i i just warn everyone when you go on ebay you're you're in the swamps there's scum and villainy everywhere and you just need to be extremely careful because he literally just puts it on here, like purchased in February, 2003 from a dealer in Adjar. Well, all he did was take out the guy's name. Yeah. You know, it, put it this way. If you see something, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're about to buy a meteorite on eBay, look at the, look at the about, go to my YouTube page, click on about. It has all my contact information. You send me a picture of the link and I'll tell you if it's real or not. I, I'm not, you don't have to buy it. For, I'm not even selling it. Just, I will be, I will, you can run it by me and I will tell you if it's fake or not. This is a Campo Las Palmas I got uh, a couple weeks ago. It's uh, 942 grams. It's pretty hefty in your hand. It's really nice. I, he, the guy had three of them. I picked the biggest one, but it was pretty amazing that by the end of the week they were all gone. But, so I'm glad I grabbed it, but. Well, that has some that has some really nice color to it. Nice patina. Yeah, I really like it. It was, uh, it was a good purchase, but but yeah, I know it's not like in the Met Bull or anything, but I, I still like you guys were saying a couple weeks ago. I, I find it looks quite a bit different from the regular yeah. Camp campus. Yeah, but. I I agree with you, man. That's beautiful, and that's a that's a nice uh, home defense rock too. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, it fits really nice in your hand too, and it's like nine hundred forty-two yeah. grams. But it's like Ooh. Yeah. Aku, I can't pronounce Uruku. it. Yeah, I might be spelling. I might. Yeah, Uruku. Yeah, I've pronounced it Orasu, but yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. But it's not my now, now we all know what we're talking about and looking at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not a lot to look at, but I love the patina, and I I never had a piece, and I just grabbed this mm -hmm. giant piece, and thank it God it has. It actually has a really beautiful pattern on the inside, but um, that one, I don't, I don't think I'd be cutting that one. That I like that the way it is. Yeah, I kind of tend to like the natural patina 
stuff. Um, Good, late to the party. I just got up to Maine, but I wanted to, uh, to share huh. one piece. Was, so this is a U.S. Fall 2016 L6. Mm. Okay, so this is Pasacola. Oh. So this is Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. Osceola. Osceola. Okay, yeah, I'm pronoun <laughs> probably pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> um, so this was broken up earlier in the flight and was able to get um, wind divots and regmaglyphs all in it. Then here's another one that broke up a little later in flight because it still has a little bit of regmaglyphs on it, especially on this side, but it shows a little bit more uh, violent tearing. Yeah, it's more level. like shrapnel. Yeah, that's um, that's a Sakoto then. Yeah, it's not yet. It's rare to see them not clean. Yeah, yeah, that's totally unclean. They have I've, got like a, I've got like a tiny I've, one that's not clean. Yeah, they just they wrap that little piece at the top like so much. Like I literally spent twenty minutes taking it apart. <laughs> But, that, but that's what makes that whole piece, though, just about. <laughs> yeah, I know. Without it, this one has kind of cost me a bit of money because it's got a bit of everything. It's got, it's got regma lips on it. It's mm -hmm. got this kind of like fissure here, and then it's, I don't know if you would call that oriented, but it's. And then on this side is crazy. It's like. Mm. That's yeah. That's some shearing action right there. Yeah, but on those uh, soft spots there where it's really smooth, that may right. be a little bit of fusion crust in there too. Because I can't tell if it's the blue reflecting off your pad there or not, but it has some yeah. really good color to it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's kind of neat. It's, it just has a bit of everything. But yeah, look. Funny. You see what I'm talking about, guys? How dark it is in there? Yeah. yeah I never, I never... We are at the end of today's session. Some really good stuff, really good friends. And we'll be back next week. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Have a good week, everyone. Thank you.